Hey guys, it's Brian. We're back here in the garage today with the Frostbite JL, and we're going to talk about a new front axle we got. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. So if you come in here and look, we ended up picking up a front Dana 44, also known as the M210, out of a Rubicon. This came out of a 2019, fairly low mile. As you guys probably know, the Sport comes with a Dana 30 or an M186 in the front. We're going to be replacing that with this bigger axle. It's also got a diff locker too. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So guys, if you go ahead and we'll take a look with this Dana 44 or the M210, you go ahead and you get the larger ring gear. You also get the larger axle splines and then you get the larger pumpkin here. This is a slightly wider axle. It's about an inch and a half wider than a Sport M186. So we will gain that as well. So with that, we do have to replace some things. We do have some upgraded HD steering we're gonna be adding in the form of a new tie rod and drag link. We're also gonna be adding a cat fab diff cover for a little more protection up front. And then what I'm really excited about, we're gonna be throwing a truss on this. So we'll do an in-depth video on that later. I do wanna open it up here in a minute and kinda of show you guys what that's gonna look like. All right, I wanted to show you guys some size comparisons. So this is gonna be the diff cover off my M186, the Dana 30. If you take a look at it compared to the Dana 44, it's quite a bit smaller. You're going to get a lot bigger ring gear with this one. This one's going to be almost a full inch bigger. It's 0.95 of an inch. So you're going to get more strength with that on the ring gear. You're also going to get the locking differential. We'll wire that up with a Mopar harness. And then we get the 32 spline shafts that come with the Rubicon. So that's an upgrade from the 27 spline shafts. So they're going to be bigger in diameter and they'll be quite a bit stronger. So guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the truss we got. We ended up going with the Artec Apex truss. This is going to be their new kit. I ended up getting their full kit for the M210 with the Rubicon axle. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it comes with. So they actually have this package really good. There's not a whole lot in here for it being a truss. Box. That's going to be the main truss. They kind of Saran wrap that all together. And then these are going to be the sea gussets. We went ahead and got those two with the kit. So those are going to reinforce the axle seas and keep them bending, which is pretty nice. And then we went ahead and we got the front lower control arm skid plates. So these will weld up underneath here where you mount the control arm and it'll give us some protection there. Alright guys, as you can tell with this new Apex axle truss from Martech, it is pretty easy to fit on here. It kind of fits together nice and snug. Everything indexed nice. And then with this truss, it's pretty cool. This is an industry first for trusses. They actually continue the truss all the way to the end of the axle seize with this under the spring coil section there. So that's pretty nice. Then as you can see, it comes around and it hugs the fad, the front axle disconnect. So that'll tie all that together. This is where these are the weakest on here. And then I also, I got the sea gussets here. These will weld up just like that. And that'll provide a lot of strength for here when you got the big tires and you're on the rocks. So our tech does say that this takes 70% less welding than the old uh, truss styles where you had to box them together. All right guys, as you can tell, this truss is gonna add quite a bit of strength to our new Dana 44 front axle. Pretty excited to get that on there. It says we're good up to 40 inch tires. Should be a little bit of overkill for the 37s, but it'll be nice to have that peace of mind. It does really reinforce that fad section where it is known to be a weak spot. And then we'll also gain some protection down by the lower control arms with these. I have bashed those up on the Dana 30. And then also we got a matching Spicer ring gear and pinion to match the back. We'll get that re-geared to match the front. So we'll have the Dana 44 in the rear with the limited slip and then the locking Dana 44 in the front. So that'll give us quite a bit of more performance off-road. So I'm looking forward to getting this installed, guys. Go ahead and like and subscribe and stay tuned for the whole Axle Build series. 